This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out another poly gel kit from Amazon. I know you guys love when I do affordable kits from Amazon, so here's another one. I saw this kit from Bomacell. <laughs> I don't know where they get these names from, but this poly gel kit was $27 and it comes with a lot of stuff. It even comes with a nail lamp. Hopefully they'll probably keep that price after this video come out. Let's get this open and see if it's worth it. All right, so this is the box and it is huge. I'm zoomed out as far as I can go and I don't wanna move my camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just have to move this to the side. And this is how it comes packed. Oh, it's a box inside of a box. So, okay, so that is that. Let me just pull this out. It is a lot. And so the bigger box is the lamp, I'm guessing. So let me see if I can get this out of here. All right, since I had to struggle so much to get this out, I'm gonna show you guys this first. This is the LED UV lamp that comes with this kit. It says your first option. Okay. <laughs> That's supposed to be like a cute saying, I guess. All right. All right. This seems to be a full size lamp. Does feel pretty light. And yeah, the bottom comes off. And I guess if you cure your toenails or something like that, just to snap back on. Okay, it does. This display here, I'm not sure if, I guess I gotta turn it on, but yeah. Can y'all see how like, it's like chipping and I don't know. I don't know if this even a screen. This might just be like plastic. Anyway, it comes with the instructions to tell you how to use the lamp. Let's see, what is the wattage on here? Okay, it says it is a 48 watt, so, okay. So let me go ahead and plug this up. All right, so it looks a lot better when it's on. Let me see if you, okay, so if you press, it does the timer for you. That's not bad, it's not bad in the kit for $27. And it has an off switch, on and off. That is a plus. <laughs> oh, I was just sitting this down and I saw that it has a sensor also that turns on. Okay, this is not bad for the lamp itself. Like, this is a good value. All right, let's get to the rest of the kit. So everything else is packed in the box. You get this, and it tells you everything that you get in this kit. Okay, okay. So yeah, step by step tells you what to do. Uh, what else is in here? Just a thank you card and telling you thank you some more. <laughs> I'm just gonna get everything out the box and then we can go from there. All right, so they went extra fancy with the packaging. Everything is in a box. I am going to de-box all of this. I feel like this probably is a little excessive, especially if it's all in the kit. It's like, why everything's in a box? But, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna unbox all this so we can see what all comes in this kit. All right, so this is everything that comes in the kit. Of course, you get the nail lamp, six 30 ml tubes of poly gel. Usually the kits come with 15 ml, so half this size. So you get a good amount of poly gel. Base and top coat, dehydrator and primer, UV gel cleaning fluid, nail file and buffer, cuticle oil. You get the nail tool and it has the spatula on one end and the brush on the other. You get a dampen dish nail forms, a nail clip, this little duster makeup brush. It comes with lint-free wipes and it comes with a hundred tips. These just say nail tips. I wonder if these are dual forms. Let's see. Okay, yeah, these are the dual forms. They got a mean curve to them, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, so let's get to these poly gel swatches. 
All right, so this is the first color and it is called Ice Meal. I kid you not, it's called Ice Meal. <laughs> Next we have Cherry Pollen. Like, what is, <laughs> what is up with these names? This color here is called The Gentle Slayer. I, I don't have, I, <laughs> Why are these names this crazy? This poly gel is like really loose. <laughs> this is not gonna be fun to work with. So this next color here is called Jelly Powder. It is loose, y'all. Look how it's dripping. Oh, oh my God. This is gonna, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> Next we have Tooth White. Oh my God, this stuff is like so soft. Oh, it's gonna be a mess to work with. I can already tell. And lastly, we have the Clear, the only normal name, <laughs> Clear. And that is how this looks. So these are the colors side by side. And this is just from regular, just sitting out. How, look how much that has spread. Like, I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> All right, so first, I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my nails. They're looking a little bad. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I injured my thumb. If you saw the video, I also uploaded a short here on YouTube and I told you guys all about it. This whole nail lifted and it is only connected by this little cuticle area. So I will not be putting a nail, uh, forming a nail or anything on my thumb. I may do a press on, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I kind of just been leaving that alone. Long nail wears, y'all know when y'all hit y'all nail or when something happens, it just, oh, it hurts. It doesn't happen often to me. The last time I messed up a finger was a couple years ago. The OGs know it was one of my first Louis Vuitton sets and I messed up my index finger, so. But <laughs> it wasn't as bad as this, like. This is going to take a while to grow out. I am just want to slightly show you guys what I'm talking about. But yeah, my whole thumb, like I can, I can like something thin, like water and everything can go like all the way back until you get to this part here. This is only where my nail connected, so. I'm just being really careful. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the prep for the other nails. First, I'm just going to push back my cuticles. So after I push back the cuticles, I'm just gonna use the opposite end to kind of scrape up any of that dead skin. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my nail drill and Kara Sky sent your girl a new nail drill. This is their new unicorn drill. And I'm just gonna use this to go around my cuticle area, but I could not wait to use this. I've had this probably about a week or two. And oh, I just love it. Like that color is crazy my studio lights aren't really doing it justice but as you guys can see it's like a pink chrome gorgeous they also told me that this one is a little bit more improved from the last one um it's not a major difference but they did say that there's less vibration although i didn't experience any vibration with my kara sky drill like it seems to be like one of the best drills that i've used yeah they improve the handle and everything so you know they're constantly making things better So yes, yeah, since I'm working on my right hand, I'm gonna do this in reverse because I'm gonna be holding it with my left. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Y'all know how much I love pink. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my cuticle bit there. And I think this kind of has a charge. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit of a charge. <laughs> just enough. 
<laughs> and I'm also gonna use this drill bit to get rid of the red hair dye you see there. And I also have a little bit of poly gel residue from my previous set. So we're gonna take care of that as well. Just gonna use my nail clipper to clip down my natural nail. All right, so I am going to take the 180 side, which is the finer grit side of the hand file, and I'm just going to lightly take the shine away from the nail. And this is all done with a soft hand. I'm not putting any pressure on the nail file. I just want to lightly file. All right, so for this set, I think I'm gonna use the dual forms. And y'all know that I have a love-hate relationship with dual forms, but I am a little concerned because this poly gel is so soft and loose that it may not do well with your natural heat from your body. <laughs> I have a feeling that it's just gonna go all over the place. But you know what, I will try. I will try a paper form first and see if I can get it done. If I can, I'm gonna switch over to the dual forms. So let's get to it. So I'm just gonna put some of this cleaning fluid. Let me look at the instructions and see if I can use this. All right, so the instructions do say that I can use apply slip solution cleaning fluid on gel brush. I do wanna point out that this bottle came like half full and it was also kinda of leaking a little bit. Not too bad, but. So that is how much I put in the dampen dish. And that is about how much is left. So the bottle already came half full. So just, you know, something to keep in mind. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm kind of hoping this works because I don't want to use the dual forms because they have a mean curve to them and I do not like curved nails. <laughs> I'm gonna go in first with the nail prep dehydrator. I really like that this set does come with a dehydrator and primer because you need it and most kids don't give it to you. So there you go. And then I'm gonna go in with the primer. And then I'm gonna go in with the base coat. I do like how the brushes are kind of like tapered so you can get really close to the cuticle. It makes it easier to apply. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp. Gonna give it about 60 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Gentle Slayer color. <laughs> These names, y'all. <laughs> and we're just gonna put it on the nail. And I do like this color. So I'm just dipping a brush into the slip solution and then I dab it on the paper towel. And then I'm just gonna use that to form a nail. Right, it's not as loose as I thought it was going to be. But it could be, it just hasn't warmed up yet. It is, it is really soft though. And it's like sort of sticking to the brush. It's really not as bad as I thought. I thought this was gonna be like Burano bad, but it's really not. Burano's poly gel was just too soft for me and it started to warm up as I was working with it from my body heat and it was just too soft. But this one is really not that bad, but it is softer. It's softer than McCart and I can't think of any others, but it's on the softer side. I am going to start keeping my nails just a little shorter because I don't wanna go through the pain that I went through a few weeks ago with this thumb. So yeah, we just gonna tone it down just a tinge. All right, so I'm trying to get this like, you know how like I like to do it in just one little glob, but it's kind of moving. So I think I'm just going to not really try to perfect it because the longer I play with it, the warmer it's getting and it's like kind of spreading. So I think I'll probably just, you know, get it 
as close as I can without playing around with it too much. And then I'll just clean up the shape and everything with my hand file. You know, I may have to go in with a second layer, honestly. Okay, I need to work a little quicker. Okay, it is starting to warm up. And as you can see, it's like sliding and pulling around in my cuticle area after I have already formed this. So yeah, the longer it kind of sits out on your nail, you're gonna be fighting with it. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta just go ahead and cure. Oh, I hope it don't burn, y'all. I hope it don't burn. Okay, all right, all right. It's not burning me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let this cure for 60 seconds. All right, so this is after curing. And I think I'm probably, I need to add just a little bit in the center. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more here in the center cause it kind of dips in a little bit. All right, so I think, I think I can work with that. I can go ahead and file that and make that nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that and then I'm gonna do the rest of the nails. All right, so I'm going in with, I forgot what color this was. What weird name is this? This is Cherry Pollen. <laughs> and this color is Ice Meal. I really think you guys should probably get a English speaker to do your names for your colors cause they sound a little crazy. <laughs> but I must say that once you kind of get the hang of it, it's not that bad to work with. I do find that I have to work a little faster because like I said, as it starts to sit on my nail and heat up, it kind of just have a life of its own. So I'm trying to show you guys most of the colors. Some people be getting on me because I don't use all the colors that come in a Pi Gel kit. It's like, just because they come in the kit doesn't mean you have to use all of the colors at one time. <laughs> use my reviews as a reference. Like this is not the end all be all of these products. This is just how it works for me. So, you know, your results may be different. You may think differently about it and you know, don't be coming at me saying I'm not being honest and all that stuff. Like I buy all this stuff myself. And so these are my opinions and you know, just take this as a reference. And lastly, we have jelly powder. But aside from the crazy names, these colors are really pretty. You'll be able to find a shade that goes well with your skin. Um, I think all of these are pretty good. So this is after all of the poly gel is cured. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, we got some gel underneath. No. And we're just gonna smooth that out. Oh, I mean, they're all probably like that. Yeah. I don't think this is any fault of the nail lamp. It's just with paper forms, the light is not able to get through all the way. So just gonna go ahead and smooth this out. And I just read the back of the bottle. The reason why this slip solution works so well is because it is pretty much alcohol. <laughs> so it's isopropyl alcohol, water, and I don't know what the tocopherol acetate, but pretty much it's alcohol. I'm just gonna go ahead and cure and just put that on the underside to make sure all of that is nice and cured. So once everything is nice and cured, I'm gonna take the slip solution again and put some on paper towel, wipe off the tacky layer. You want to make sure you get that tacky layer up because it will clog your hand file. Now I am just going to do the shaping and filing. Oh. 
All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. So now I'm just gonna do a quick nail design using some nail foil. And I'm gonna go in with this transfer gel from To Be Glam. And I'm only gonna put it like on the edge. I'm just gonna take the foil and just randomly put it on the nail. Not bad. Now I'm just going to outline it in white. And this is after all of the lines are done. And of course, I'm gonna add some bling. And I'm gonna be using some pieces from my new Emerald Nail Crystal Kit. As you guys know, I have nail crystal kits in various colors, and this is the newest color. It is an iridescent green, and it is so cute. It goes so well with this foil. I'm just gonna use one of the chunky pieces and then some of the round iridescent crystals. These are available on my website. I'll leave the link down below. I usually use Poochie's Nails Bling Gel and Top Coat to put on the crystals, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this Bomber Cell stuff since it came in the kit. Usually using some type of like clear poly gel and top coat helps, you know, with all type of crystals and stuff like that. Usually, depending on the formulation, I don't know how this is gonna last. I know the Poochie's nail stuff lasts like a long time. So I'm just gonna take a dollop of this clear and then go directly on top of that with the top coat. And I'm just gonna apply the top coat to the rest of the nails. And I'm gonna do my final cure in the LED lamp for 60 seconds. So this top coat does leave a tacky layer on the nail, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the cleaning fluid. And we're gonna go ahead and wipe that off. I typically only like non-wipe top coat because it just, you know, this is just an extra step you gotta do. All right, so I went ahead and wiped off the tacky layer, but it still feel tacky. I'm gonna cure again. Maybe I didn't cure all the way, I don't know. Yeah, this top coat is still tacky. I don't understand. <laughs> so I'ma just go in with my favorite non-wipe top coat, which is the Poochie Snails. And I'm just gonna put this on top. Hopefully we can get rid of that tacky feeling, but yeah, the nails are still tacky. So yeah, I don't, I don't like that top coat that comes with the kit. Ah, that is much better. No tackiness. <laughs> All right, so finally, we're gonna go in with the natural oil, nail and cuticle oil. This bottle is cute. Let me see what it smell like. It has like a fresh scent. It's not very fragrant. I don't know what it smell like, but it's not. I don't know, it just kinda just smell like oil, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put some on this poor little thumb. Get better soon. And here is the finished look. Super cute. And I do like the colors of the poly gel. I think they complement my skin very well. And the poly gel wasn't that difficult to use. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than what it was. So I give this poly gel kit, hmm, I say a B minus. And I say that because the poly gel, it is softer than what I'm used to. And it does kind of heat up as you're working with it from your own body heat. So it just slides all over the place. So I didn't really like that. I wish it was a tad bit firmer. And I know that I can put it in ice water and all that stuff, but I shouldn't have to do all that. <laughs> I also really didn't like the top coat. It was tacky. I don't know. Even after cleansing it with the cleansing fluid, it was still tacky. I didn't like that about it. But overall, the colors are pretty. Y'all need to change the names of these colors though. They are kinda, they kinda weird. <laughs> but for $27, you get all those poly gels, a nail lamp. You get pretty much everything you need. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.
This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah.